not everybody wants to see you do well. As a matter of fact, there are people out there who would love to see you fall down on your face and fail. These people are easy to spot and avoid when you're thinking about valuable time. You know, nobody purposely invites jackasses into their into the most important pieces of their life. You know, family, business, relationships, you know, whatever. It's wise and responsible to monitor and carefully choose who sits at your table, so to speak, who gets to speak into your life and share in your, in your successes and in your failures. My grandfather always used to say to me, show me who you're with and I'll show you who you are. And as I've gotten older and less naive, it's been easy to siphon out people whose vision, goals, values, and priorities don't line up with my own. Nothing to it, really. I'm actually alarmingly good at shrinking my circle and deciding to keep the proper people at arm's length, if you know what I mean. Sometimes I wish I wasn't as good at it as I am. I probably have a little bit of work to do around that, to be honest. Anyways, then there's times like this last weekend. Times you're less in control about who you're going to be spending time with. Times you're a guest and you're surrounded by people you've long since, you know, chosen to move on from. Maybe it's just me, but I struggle badly in these situations. There seems to always be that one guy at these places. The one guy that far too much to drink, refuses to be anywhere further than six inches away from your face, pushing and pulling and tugging on you and, and spitting on you, every other word that he's saying. Is he completely unaware of what he's doing? Yeah, maybe. Maybe he is. Maybe it's just the opposite. Maybe he's sitting there sitting there waiting for you to slip up or make a mistake, wanting you to show any sign of weakness or malice so he can point and say, he knew it. He's no better than the rest of us. He hasn't grown at all. He's the same old Vinny. I wonder, is it just me? Am I the only one who this shit seems to follow? Maybe it's the enemy's way to remind me he still has the playbook out on how to beat Maybe it's God's way of letting me know that there's so much more work to be done. I don't know. But anyways, after, after hours of avoiding this, this person, uh, I tried to leave this gathering that I was at. Uh, as you can imagine, it didn't go all that well. I'll spare you the details, but uh, let's just say he was successful. He was successful because for the last three to four days, I've been questioning my own growth, my own maturity. Wishing I could have the decision back to even attend this place. I don't know. I failed. And truth be told, I think if I'm, uh, if I'm in these types of situations over and over, I, I, I don't believe I wouldn't fail again and again and again. I think maybe it's that thorn in my side, you know, seems to just follow. Let's be clear. I'm not saying be paranoid about having a good time with friends or be overly worried about unfamiliar gatherings. I suppose it's just a warning for people out there reaching for more, striving to be a better version of themselves today than they were yesterday. Just think. And then rethink. It's a crazy world out there, and not all situations are good ones for you to be in. Maybe they were good, good situations for that old version of you, the version of you that was easily entertained by a, a good drink and a meaningless conversation. But for that new version of you, that next version of you, your time is better spent moving toward the target you were actually aiming at. Toward those goals that you said were so important. Be wise, man.
be picky, and sometimes be downright selfish with your time, your circles, and who you choose to, to surround yourself with. Your future wives or your wives or your children, and more importantly, your future self will thank you one day. It really matters.